Welcome guys, this is Jesse. I was thinking about doing a new segment called Under the Radar where I discuss some old games that most of you probably haven't heard of. For this installment, I'm going to be discussing a game called Mendel Palace or Quinty in Japan. It's an awesome puzzle action arcade style game that you can play with one or two players. And the story differs slightly depending on what region you're from. In the US, you play as Bon Bon and you're trying to save a princess from her own dreams. While in Quinty, your name is Carton and you're trying to save your girlfriend from your jealous sister. It's a really awesome game made by Game Freak before Pokemon. It was actually their first project. I only came across Mendel Palace because I had a friend in my old neighborhood that gave me the game. It was actually a game that even my parents liked to play. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. Mendel Palace is a weird little gem that never really received the attention it deserved. The premise is simple enough. Each level takes place on a 5x7 grid, with the main objective being to flip the tiles which you and the enemies walk on to smash them against the walls. You also collect stars which work very much like Mario coins. Collect 100 and you get an extra life. Flipping tiles can also reveal secrets, both good and bad. Also secret bonus levels you can find that will pretty much guarantee a 1-up. Across the 9 different areas of the game, you'll find a very unique variety of enemy dolls, ranging from sumo wrestlers, swimmers, ballerinas, to copycats that only move when you do, and artist dolls whose paintings come to life and come after you. Mendel Palace is so bizarre that the younger version of me could barely even comprehend what was going on, but I love this game now just as much as I did back then. Even my five-year-old son enjoyed it. Mendel Palace is awesome! I wasn't lying. It's a total blast, especially with co-op. Now this game isn't without its flaws. For one, moving diagonally is a chore. You kind of wobble and slow down. Also, you have to touch the center of a tile in order to collect stars or activate panels. Grazing the side won't work. And you'll probably die. A lot. If you take too long to complete a level, the enemies speed up progressively until you defeat them or they kill you. The boss fights are pretty memorable. Sometimes you fight Quinty and she'll try and turn you into one of the enemies. I would go more in depth with this game, but I really don't want to spoil the experience. To sum it all up, Mendel Palace was a real treat for those who were lucky enough to know it existed back in the day, and although some of its mechanics are pretty dated by today's standards, there's plenty of fun to be had, especially if you bring another along for the ride. What do you guys think of Mendel Palace? Do you have any suggestions on other games I should feature in a future installment? Be sure to leave a comment below, and thanks, as always, for watching.